so welcome back to the second video on the git introduction so in this video we will see how the git can be used for managing the same single project but multiple users or say there are two developers that are working on the same project so here we will see how to create a branch how to merge those branch and all so here we assume that there are two programmers so the programmer one is assigned with task one so he has to work on the features for developing this task one similarly there is another programmer so who is given with the task two so we'll see how this should be managed so the task uh, programmer one let us assume is working on a uh, windows machine and the programmer two is working on a linux machine so we'll see how those can be or what is a basic workflow that you have to follow when you're working on a one repository but multi different features of the same project okay since i will be working on a particular task one so what i'll do is instead of working on the master branch i will create another branch called as task one so i can use git bash task one now even this will create another branch for the particular task but when you go give the command git branch you will see that it's still in the master so what i'll have to do is now i'll have to check out to the task one branch which can be used by git checkout task one now if i do a git branch again i'll see that task one is highlighted now so we are working on the branch task one so any changes that i make now here will be rep uh, rep or recorded in the task one branch so i'll add a few modifications this is my task one or something this is task so this is done by the programmer one so i'll save it then if i do a git status i'll be able to see that those file has been modified now i'll add this to the staging area then give a git commit with a specific message saying that i have implemented this particular feature so say task one So once I make this commit, this will be reflected in my local repository. Now I have what I have to do is I'll have to push this to my remote repository. So for that I have used the git push minus u origin followed by the task that is branched repository name. So if I do that, I'll make a copy of the task one in the remote repository. So if I do a git branch minus a you will be able to see all the branches that are in the particular repository so now you can see that in the local repository there is two branch master and task one and we are currently working on the task one similarly in the remote repository you have the master and the task one now the red one is in the remote repository so after testing and all we find that uh, the feature that we worked on is uh, correct now what we have to do is we want to merge it with the master that is the final copy so this is quite a workflow that you have to follow that is first thing is you will have to be in the master branch then you will have to get a pull request of the original remote uh, master branch then merge the particular task or the branch with the master in the lo local and push it so just follow along with me so the first thing that you will do is now you will check out to the master branch of the local repository which can be done using git checkout master so now we will be currently working on the master branch in the local repository then what we will do is we will uh, have a pull request of the master copy from the remote repository using the git pull origin master now we will merge our task one branch with our master so that can be done using git merge followed by the branch name so now we will, our master local master branch is having the updated task one file then we will git push origin master so this will push the master copy from our repository to the main repository or remote repository in the website so if i go there and you can see that 
if I click the file here you can see that another remote repository task one is also there I'll just click on the master now click on the file first file you will be able to see the task that we had updated so this is my task one so now you have both task one and master branches in the remote repository also so let us assume the programmer tool works on a Linux machine and he has to, to perform the task or add the features for a task 2. So let's first of all create a repository or clone that repository. So first what we'll do is we'll create a particular folder for the local repository. So from the terminal itself, we move on to desktop. So we'll change directory to desktop and make a folder for a directory and save it folder. So we'll change the directory inside that folder. Now we'll git clone that particular repository. So I have already copied that. So that should create a local copy of the particular remote repository so if I go inside that file folder I'll see the files so now what I'll do is I'll create a branch for my particular task that is task 2 so git branch task 2 now once I have made that I have to check out to that particular branch check, check out task 2 so now we will be working on the task 2 branch so if I do git branch I will see the task 2 is highlighted now I can make the changes in that particular file so I will just make an entry for task 2 this is my task for second task save it then you have to add to the uh, staging area so because that will just make it status you'll see that this is untracked now it will add that particular file to the staging area git add minus a okay, after that you can see that the modified file has been Tracked. so we'll commit that particular file so git commit minus n followed by my message second task now i'll have to push it to my uh, origin task 2 so git push minus u origin task 2 will push this changes to my remote repository so you'll have to give the credentials for your uh, github account here the reason that it does not happen in windows was because i had already configured it so you just type that username and password and it should be uploading to the remote repository so if i go and check the remote repository you should be able to find the task to branch also so if I click on, you can see task 2. Now in task 2, we had written a file, but we have not made it rep replicate or reflected in our master branch. So if I click master, you will see that the task 2 is not there. Or the content that we return for the task 2 branch is not reflected. Now what we will have to do is, we will have to merge it with the origin, right? So git checkout master. So now I am in the master branch then git pull origin master so that i get the latest working copy if any other person is working on it i'll get that copy git pull origin master now i'll have to git merge task 2 so this will merge task 2 branch with the master in my local repository now i'll have to push my local master branch to the remote master branch so i use a git push origin master 
again i'll give my credentials so once this is done you will be seeing that in the master copy in the remote repository also you, those changes are reflected so once this merging happens only after extensive testing of the codes that you written for each branch now after once uh, this okay we'll just check it out so in the master branch itself if you see now it's reflected this is the main second task next thing what we'll see is okay once we have merged with the master branch we want to delete our uh, uh, branches so it can be done by git branch minus d followed by the branch name so this will delete the uh, branch from my local repository so if i do a git my branch minus a it will show that in the remote repository there is again still a task to branch remaining so if i want to delete that also you can use command git push origin minus delete followed by the branch name that you want to delete give the username and password for your account now after this if i do a git branch minus a you will see that in the remote repository there won't be any task to branch so let's delete the branch uh, task one also from here so the same command git push origin minus delete task one again the username password for that particular commit or changes sorry Once you type in the password, it should make those changes in the remote repository also. You can see that the task one has been deleted. So if I do a git branch minus a, you will see that in the remote repository you have only master branch. So if I go and check my uh, remote repository, you will see that only master branch is there. So coming back to the Windows machine, if I do a git pull origin master, you should get the latest copy and you will find that the first file that we had will have the second task also. So this is how multiple programmers work on a project, developing different features and finally merging with the master copy. Thank you for watching.